<gasps> hello there. Yes, hello there, space. What is it? Number one, we have awesome space screen. At number two, we have a car bar twin. At number three, PP9009. Number four, Cogstopper. Number five, we have Chappy Souch. Wow, excellent. The top five. Anyways, guys. Hi, hi, Logs. Hello there, loser Luis. So, look at all these decks I built yesterday. Yesterday, I spent like uh, nine or ten hours just building decks. Obsessively. I even forgot to eat, which is rare because I don't ever forget to eat anything. Look at all of these. They're single tin in our format decks. I needed like two or three of them for a collab. And now I have um, more than that. Ooh, I like this one. Trap Monster Sprite. I wonder if this one could win. Spent 10 hours building decks, but no stream? Yeah. Really matches with Christmas? Hell yeah. You guys are going to get used to it eventually. One of these days you guys will be so used to it, you'll be like, where's the Christmas intro? In our danger. I think this one could work. Hmm. Anyways, do you guys remember Bone Tower Mill? What you do is you summon Bone Tower and then you go into your Mayakashi combos and win. It's so easy. Are you cool and mysterious? Hell yeah. Is the World Championship still going on? Oh, I can do it here! I can bone tower mill some people who are trying to rank up in the event. How awesome. We'll be so used to the people who are used to it will look like they are not used to it. Yeah, a bunch of idiots. Oh man. I think I spent too long on the computer yesterday because my forehead has been twitching. That's usually the case that I was working too much. Which is funny because technically I took yesterday off. Okay. <gasps> Am I going first? No, I'm not. I didn't draw any of my going second cards either. However, I do have full combo if I can do it through all these negates. I think he means soul absorbing bone tower. No, it's bone tower mill. Noah Punk Ziamin. Ogre dance in the graveyard. Was that their normal summon? It sure was. Add a punk monster from their deck to hand. Foxy Tune. Foxy Tune is a beast. But isn't Ziamin a psychic? Aren't most of them psychic? Why is this one a fiend? Because of the fiend in the background? Wow, that's... <gasps> oh my god, the fiend in the background is exactly the same as the fiend icon. Is it the same for Foxy Toon? No, it looks like a cat. A kitsune. Rising Garp. The punk engine can't put out any negates, can they? Deer note. Log on. Wait, are they actually just playing pure punk? Oh my god, they actually searched out the field spell card. Depends on if it's zombie or not. Dragon Drive. What if they end on Psychic and Punisher? That should allow me to do the mill. They can't summon Punisher? Why not? I need them to summon Punisher so I can do my thing. Or send to the graveyard if one activates a punk card or effect. Plus cards in your graveyard, spells from this card. You can only use each of these effects once per turn. Oh, Deer Note brought it back. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, and then they draw a card. If a psychic monster you control paid life points, activate its effect to draw one card. This is basic light or light psychic support. Remember when psychics had the gimmick of paying life points to use their effects? That was funny. 
They're like, instead of, you know, cards having the effects for free, what if we made them pay light points to use them? It's such a novel idea. <laughs> Foxy Toon? Didn't they already use Foxy Toon's effect? <gasps> Psychic and Punisher! Once per turn, you can banish a punk card from your graveyard, so pull up someone a punk monster from your hand. There it is. <gasps> oh my god! That's no negates! This means I can do full combo! Take a Mikasha card from your deck, accept and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. <gasps> this card's normal summon, special summon is Mayakashi monster. <gasps> Mayakashi return! No interruptions. Oh, you think they maybe have Maxi? Towers pass. That's fine. What I need to do, if you control my Akashi card, you, while this card is in your hand or graveyard, spell some of this card, then send a zombie from your deck to the graveyard. You can lose fact once per turn. Um, I need a way to get Bone Tower in the graveyard. So I can special summon it from the hand. Wait, what if I just normal summon Bone Tower? During the main phase, target a zombie synchro monster you control, special summon. Hmm. I need to have a card on the field for it. Foolish Burial. Okay, activate Hajun, the winged Mayakashi. Oh, they do have an Ash Blossom. They just didn't want to use it on my first card. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, plan B. Use Musume, the Ice Mayakashi. Let's see, their life points are lower, so I can't beat over their towers. Select a card to send to the graveyard. When a Mayakashi monster is special summoned to your field from your extra deck while this card is in the graveyard, neither of these cards are tuners. So I can't use that right now. So we send Mizuki to the graveyard. I have Small World, but it does nothing except banish my uh, dude. <sighs> Yuki Ona, the Ice Mayakashi. And now I can use Mezuki, my one copy of Mezuki, to bring out this card, which has already used its hard once per turn. Oh shit, they had DD Crow as well. Crap, my combo was completely ham bone from the beginning. Okay. They had all the hand traps to stop it. Yeah. This is... as long as they don't win this turn. You think they can push for damage this turn on a card that has a whole bunch of damage? Probably. Where's the bone tower out? Hmm, I need a better way to get my cards in the graveyard. <gasps> I've been defeated! What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay. I can just try again. Is Bone Tower Mill good in tier meta? No. But nobody plays tier at the lower levels of the qualifiers. So I'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. Okay, Mayakashi return. Add a Mayakashi monster from your deck to your hand. What is the sprite's weakness? Sprites don't have a weakness. Add it to your hand? Yeah. Okay, and then we can do Hajun. Hmm. Oh, they had a Mayukashi profile image. <laughs> Sprite's weakness is they lose to tier. One second. I need to take a look at my deck real quick. 
Bone Tower Mill. So for Bone Tower Mill, I can get my Bone Tower... I can get the Mayakashi combo live pretty quickly. But I can't go into Bone Tower very easily. Hmm... I need more ways to send... Absorbing Bone Tower and Mezuki to the graveyard. You probably need Unizombie. No, Unizombie won't work because I only have my normal summon. And the only card that can Spudle Summon itself is Yuki Musume, which can get either Bone Tower or Mezuki into the graveyard, but I need a way to get the other one too. And then I need uh, my normal summon just to get Hajun out because that gets the full combo. But then I'm kind of ham boned from there. Why is Ecclesia there? I'm pretty sure that's just a uh, a bridge for Small World. Spellcaster, Tuner, level 4, Light. Any of these light? Wait, why the fuck is I at hither? I'm pretty sure she was a bridge. Let me look at their values. She can search out Bone Tower. <laughs> She's also a level 4 Tuner that can special summon itself. Which means you can use it to uh, force the combo as well. Hmm. Another Bone Tower Mill variant. I'm thinking about just uh, maybe add Changshi for Spirado. Changshi? What does Changshi do again? Dear Domain Face, send one zombie monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. If this card is banished, you can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. Spuddle some of this card placed in the bottom of your deck. You can affect once per turn. You banish one zombie monster in your graveyard, spell summon this card. How do you banish it, though? Shirinui Quick Play to get the level 4. The Shirinui Quick Play. What does that do? Shirinui. During your opponent's turn, spell just discard a zombie monster, spell summon a Shirinui monster for a different name from your deck. Graveyard, can I summon extra up? Banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. The normal and special summon your zombie monsters cannot be negated the rest of the turn. Target zombie monster you control, banish it. Then you can send a zombie monster with zero defense from your deck to the graveyard. Is it this one? If your opponent controls a monster... Oh, I read that wrong. Discard one zombie monster. Special summon one Shirinui monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon monsters except zombie monster for the rest of the turn. Oh, that doesn't work. I'm not playing Shirinui's. Should we need a quick play to get the level 4? What does the level 4 do? Oh, Solitaire? Oh, because Solitaire can get Unizombie. Oh, that is a Unizombie, which does get me two cards in the graveyard without using my normal summon. But my opponent has to control a monster. What the hell? Samurai School takes up my normal summon. Hmm. But you need the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking, what if I just play Shizu cards? <laughs> Is your name spoiled cream pie? <laughs> what if I just throw in the Ashizu cards? That would give me the mill required and have a chance to get those two cards in the graveyard. What about using the vampires? The vampires wouldn't work either. Basically, what I'm trying to do is get either Mezuki or Bone Tower in the graveyard. Then I can use um, Yuki Musume to get the other one in the graveyard. Or the spell that gives a second normal summon? Wait, what's the spell that gives a second normal summon? You mean just double summon? The Ishizu stuff? Add Ishizu? Wouldn't it be better to run Board Breakers? No. Make it a going second deck with Book of Eclipse and DRM to enable it. Dark Ruler no more. <gasps> That's a good idea. Dark Ruler no more. Uh, swords.
And then we'll play the Ishizu stuff. Related cards. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. <gasps> Ghost Meets Girl, a Master Maya Kashi Saga. You can banish this card from a graveyard, target one of your banished zombie monsters, return to the graveyard. You only use effect once per turn. That does allow me to use Mezuki again. <gasps> Ooh, don't forget to add grass. I'm not going to play a 30 card deck. I'm just going to remove some shit. Um, probably the small world bridges. And this, um, let me remove that because I don't need it. Let me remove effect veiler. Remove that. Play three copies of both of these. Mayakashi return can stay. We don't need exchange of the spirit to get rid of imperm. Get rid of. Ghost meets girl. We have going second cards, but we're playing nine going second cards. Ten if we count for Ben Droplet. So we have 43 card deck. Can we cut anything from this main combo? We want to play triple Soulsorb and Bone Tower from Mizuki so that we have a chance to get both of them in the graveyard. I'm thinking if we add Changshi, we can also use Snow in order to forcefully activate it. We could also add in. Hmm. One less maxi. Hmm. Hmm. I'm called by in order to stop any potential hand traps because a lot of them can stop what I'm doing. Hopefully, we can eat up the hand traps with the agitos and stuff. We'll just go with this for now. Oh, and also, let's see. We are locked into only zombie monsters, Shiranui cards. So there's no real point in playing any other Shiranui stuff, but I think it's until the end of the turn. The turn you activate this effect, Mayakashi monsters. Yeah, yeah, there's no point to play any other Xyz monsters. Gravekeeper Trap feels useless here. Uh, no, you can activate it directly from your deck with Midora. Book of Eclipse, that's what Swords of a Concealing Light is for. Reasoning, reasoning is only for getting spell traps in the grave. Are we going second with the mill? Well, ideally we still want to go first, but we can go second with all these going second cards. I need to find a way to get rid of three cards though, but they're all so useful for this deck. Yo, add little D. Hello there, we Todd. I'm going to decline that. Decline that suggestion, because it's a terrible idea. We'll just go with this, see how this works. Book of Eclipse is better versus swords, plus makes them draw. Oh, I forgot what the draw effect actually being useful. Of, oops, I spelled Eclipse wrong. Book of the in Eclipse. Okay. The thing is, Book of Eclipse can be stopped by Maxi, but I mean, if they're gonna Maxi it, then that's good for me, kind of, to an extent. The quick play too? What quick play? Stop by Ash, I think you mean? Didn't I say Ash Blossom? What did I say? You think Maxi beatdown would be dumb? Yeah. Milling your opponent in this economy? I know, right? Cringe. I remember I tried milling my opponent once. Didn't like it. Okay. <gasps> ooh, ooh, look at all of these mills. I don't have combo though. Um, I might have combo, it depends. I do have Book of Eclipse, so I can just flip down whatever my opponent has. As long as they don't have two spell trap negates. Or like, you know, negates from Link monsters, because Link monsters still ham bone my board. Oh, <gasps> that's it! They just went into Dogmatica of the Ecclesia and then passed. Ooh, Dark Ruler no more. Excellent. So we're going to use Book of Eclipse because if they don't have a card on the board, then they can't use uh, the other card to negate. Then I want to activate Gravekeeper's Trap for my deck. So we'll send Keldo to the grave. 
Okay. Activated into the spell and trap card zone. Yes. All right. Then activate Gravekeeper's Trap. Oh my god, no way. Okay, and now I can add one of these cards to my hand, but I don't have a way to get it in the graveyard now. <laughs> I have Keldo to shuffle stuff, but I don't have anything else. So I'm just gonna wait a turn. I flipped the card down for no reason. I didn't plan ahead. Even used to logs, what do you think of Nova's ASMR stream? I only got to watch a little bit of it. Uh, Dogmatica. Uh, Maximus, I guess. What is it? Evenly matched? Pfft, idiot. Oh, I could use evenly matched too. Oh my god, evenly matched is a thing available to me because I don't care about my main phase one. Why didn't you guys tell me to play evenly matched? You can probably do with Kashtira Runic. Ooh. We did, Mr. Logs? No, you didn't. Sick mill, Mr. Logs? Why, thank you, Blade Runner 79X. I told you to play Board Breakers SMH, but you didn't tell me to play evenly matched. I can still win by the mill. I just have to believe in the economy. Oh, crud. You gotta play evenly matched? Shut up. Oh my god, they just set another card? They're gonna pass their turn? You absolute buffoon. Let's send Kel back to the graveyard and search out Agito. There it is. And then... Mill 5? Yes, please. Your intelligence is so high we figured you have reason not to play it? That's true most of the time. Honestly, I do have a lot of reasons not to play stuff a lot of the time. Wow, they had nothing in the graveyard. End phase. What is the next Sabathon having your channel? I want to see you suffer more. Never! <gasps> Daki the Graceful Mayakashi. Let's see here. Ooh, Mezuki in the graveyard. Ooh, my graveyard is almost completely seated. Okay, we'll send Agito to the graveyard. And then select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Kelbeck. Alright, activate Agito to mill five cards, both players' decks. Okay, I finally have what I need in order to win. <laughs> I was going to use this anyway. <laughs> Book of Eclipse. <laughs> Flip your card face down. That way you can't use your effects to negate my combos. Okay, and then... Crap, I only milled one Mizuki? <gasps> Okay, never mind. I don't have any combos, apparently. Did I at least mill the Bone Tower? I didn't mill a single Bone Tower either? How are you got to be kidding me right now? Oh my god. I didn't check my graveyard. Uh... <laughs> I didn't mill Bone Tower. If I had one Bone in the graveyard or one more Bezuki, I could do plays, but I have neither of these two cards in the graveyard right now. So I can't do anything. Um, Let's do this. I might be able to get around this. Actually, I think I figured out a way to do this. I can just use Yuki Musume. I wasn't paying attention to the card I had in my hand. Okay, and then we send Soul Absorbing Bone Tower to the graveyard. I got the combo. I just had to use my brain a little bit harder and consider the cards I had in my hand as well. <laughs> there we go. I did it. I figured it out, chat. I'm a genius. How many cards I have in the deck? 22? This should be enough to mill. Activate. Daki the Graceful Mayakashi. Activate. <gasps> Another Daki the Graceful Mayakashi? Now nah, we only need one of them. No need to muck up the field like that. Flip summon? Why? No reason to flip summon. <gasps> Ooh, another mill. If they have an effect veil, they're going to want to use it now. I wish I could mill my deck too. 
That way I can get more bone towers in the graveyard. Okay. Ooh, nice. Now we go into Suchimokyo. Okay. The poisonous Mayakashi. And then we special summon one Daki from the graveyard. Okay, we don't bring out the other one. Not yet, anyway. Is this deck auto lose versus tier? Probably, but good thing we never go against tier in this event. Okay. Kanatha Otis. Any other cards or effects you wish to use? Wait, what if they have a shuffler in the graveyard? That might hand bone my stratagems. <gasps> the Shadow Hedgehog that allows them to add one of their Shadow spell traps from the graveyard to their hand. Nibiru. <gasps> they had a Nibiru in hand. Oh well. That's still not game over. All of our cards are face down. I can still pull this off. You guys just don't believe in science. Ooh, okay. Kelbeck to bounce their card to the hand? I could Kelbeck their hand. But I don't have any other cards to go into because my graveyard is currently not properly seeded with seeds. Hmm. Okay. Keldo, I could flip up Mudora. Um, the rightmost card is Ecclesia, if I remember correctly. So let's see what their other card is. Oh, it's just an effect veiler. Let's see, they have 13 cards left in the graveyard. And I can still mill through the effects of Agito and Kelbeck. So I have two Agitos in the graveyard. Let me use one of my shufflers now. And I still have Mudora on the board. So we want to send one of those, one of those, and in my opponent's graveyard, do they have anything in their graveyard that's worrying? Probably this one, right? You can target one of your banished invoked. Yeah, yeah, we'll send, oh crap. I'd have to return two invocations if I wanted that. Hmm. Returning one, it doesn't really matter because they can't use the other cards in their graveyard anyway. Do I want to return any of my cards? I don't really need to return any more of my cards. So let me just unselect that since if I don't return both of them, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Give the rock? I don't need to give the rock. I'm a genius. End phase. Your opponent has activated the effect of a card. Look, they drew another card. Uh, Dogmatica. We'll choose Maximus again. A banished Alistair? I don't know if they have ways to banish Alistair in their hand. That's why I'm being so careful about these Alisterns. I mean, another Dark Ruler would be more helpful. Why would another Dark Ruler no more be helpful? I can mill them out with my, uh, um, shuffler, I mean, with my, uh, these cards. Shadow Fusion? Okay. I mean, another Dark Ruler would be helpful? Wait, why? Good afternoon, Mr. Lux. I got back from my brother's graduation. <gasps> Hello there, brother's graduation. Wendy and for Apcolone. Oh, Apcolone can negate the effect of one face-up card in the field. Crap. Oh, I kind of need to use that. Okay. Squamata to send any shadow card from their deck to the graveyard. I can use Kelbeck to bounce the card and then just use Gravekeeper's Trap to get another card in my hand. Abcolone's hidden effect. Yep. And I also want to use Gravekeeper's Trap. Okay. 
any other cards. Maybe they're trying to see if they want to use their uh, Dogmatica card in hand. Super Poly. Oh, fuck. That's actually really bad because I wanted to use Gravekeeper Strap. <laughs> no. Oh, no. You asshole. You shout all construct. Well, I don't want to special summon it anymore if the target's gone. I want it in my hand. El shout all windy. This is actually Dogmatica shout all. Damn it. That super polymerization got me. App Cologne. Add a Shadow card from your deck to a graveyard to your hand. And then Ariel to banish three cards from my graveyard. Probably all Maya Kashi targets. That's fine. I've given up on the Maya Kashi part of this. The big problem I have now is that Gravekeeper's Trap's effect is permanently negated. I can still use it to discard, but I don't have anything to discard in my hand. God damn it, that freaking... Hmm, I could shuffle them back, but I don't care about those cards. Okay, App Cologne goes to the grave. Honestly, who even plays Nibiru anymore in this economy? Shadal Schism, okay. Ooh, and then they sent another card from their deck to the graveyard. They only have eight cards left. If I'd been able to get off the two mil, I could totally do this. Alistair the Invoker. Wait, they don't have any invocations in their deck. Ooh, nice. All of the mill actually stopped their Alistair from being able to do anything. They've had Maximus in their hand this whole time. Crap. Oh, that super polymerization is going to ham bone me. Select two cards to send to the graveyard. Okay, I think this is game over. What did they send to the grave? Oof. Elder Entity Natista popped one of my cards. I'll use it now to shuffle some of their resources back into their deck like this card and um, this card. I actually don't want to send any cards back to their deck. Do they have extra cards in the graveyard? No, not really. Do I have any cards in my graveyard I want back in my deck? Uh, not really. Send this one. It's not lethal yet? Good. <sighs> Elder Entity Nitis. Okay. They still have... They don't have extra plays, right? Because I use Maximus, so they're locked. Okay. Uh-oh, it was popped. Uh-oh. Oh, they used my freaking Nibiru token to go into Construct. Without Mudora it is. Oh, is it? I survived! Okay. Eight cards left in their deck. Keldo. Not exactly what I was looking for here. Dang it. That's super poly. <laughs> the freaking super poly. It was actually working. I could have did it if it wasn't for the super poly. Even after the Nibiru got me, I could have still pushed with the super poly without the super poly ham boning me it's because i wasn't able to uh, chain gravekeeper's trap to you know 
their effects so that I could get one last search off. That would have allowed me to get one more card in hand. And then the Keldo would have allowed me to win right there. Because I could have used Keldo and one of those searches in order to search out either a Guido or Kelbeck. And then it would have procced the, the 5 mil and then during my opponent's turn... No, and then I could have used Great Creeper's Trap to mill the other one. Because even if my um, hand is ham-boned, I can still pop off. <gasps> Ooh! Bad connection, Pog? Hell yeah. Okay, activate Keldo. Send Agito to the graveyard. <gasps> and then add Kelbeck to my hand. Or Gravekeeper's Trap, actually. We'll add Kelbeck for now. Okay, and then activate Agito to mill. Okay, did I get anything good with that? I got a Mudora in the graveyard and a Daki. Nope, nothing good. Hmm. I could just stall for a turn. I'm looking at my graveyard and I have a Mudora. Yeah, I'm just gonna stall for one turn. What are your thoughts on Super Poly? Toxic or not? I love Toxic cards. Those aren't my thoughts. If he activates Edge Aim Sabrus, I should be able to chain my mill, my Shuffler to it, right? If this card is in your graveyard, you can place one card from your hand on top of your deck, spell to summon this card in defense position. I can book of Eclipse in order to lock them out of the turn. And I have a called by, and I have shufflers. I have plays, and I have a kill back in hand. I have plays. <gasps> fusion while face down is kind of silly. I mean, yeah, I guess I can go into fusions, but I can still stop them from attacking. That's the more important part. The fluffle dog. Do they have a fluffle dog in the graveyard? They do not. They have a penguin in the graveyard, though. Which means if they try to use penguin... Special summon one fluffle monster from your hand. Except fluffle penguin. This effect can only be used once while this effect is on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, it's fusion material for fusion summon. Draw two cards and discard one. If this card is sent to the graveyard... Yeah, we kind of don't want them to get out a toy vendor. So let's use Fluffle Bear. Fluffle Bear searches Toy Vendor, right? Yeah, it does. Because they added wings to their hand, so I assume they're trying to go for that. Send wings to the graveyard with Toy Vendor. Just hopefully they don't have a Toy Vendor in their hand already. Ooh, is that all their plays? Crap, what does that one do? All fusion summon monsters, you control gain 300 attack, once per turn for 5 for fusion monsters, fusion summon to your field, you can draw one card. Oh, that's cool. I don't think that's very good, but that's cool. <gasps> Fright for fusion! Okay, Mudora. We need to shuffle back all of their materials in the graveyard, specifically this card right here. Okay, this sh should stop them from going into fusions because they need the Edge Imp Sabers in order to do fusions. It should do it. Do they still have another viable target? Okay. They don't. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I was about to say. There's like, there's no way they have another viable target with their Edge Imp Sabers back in their deck. A Royal Mudora. Oh my god, he is royal. Oh my god, they didn't even attack. You could have at least attacked into my Keldo. Okay. Called by. Oh. Oh. Still no plays. Um. Still no plays. I can go into my Akashi combos and just win, but that's not the whole point of my deck. Fizzled, son. 
Yeah, it definitely did fizzle. Hijun of the Mayakashi. Fright for Jar. This card becomes toy vendor on the field. Once per turn, discard one card, draw one card, and show it. If it's an edge imp, destroy one card on the field. Go for it. Have to get rid of his shuffler, though. They don't have a shuffler. I have a shuffler. Why does get fun matchups? Because I'm in the low rankings. There are no tier limits in this ranking. Okay. Oh, I can bring out Yukamusume. I think this is probably better for setting up my graveyard. Okay. And then I need to get it in the graveyard, but I think the link to my Akashi only requires zombie monsters as materials because they're annoying. Two Mayakashi monsters. Oh, Edge Imp Chain. Okay. They're going to... They're going to Fusion Summon during my turn. Oh my goodness gracious. Is this Floofles? It sure is Floofles. Okay. What else are they going to do? Fright Fair Cruel Whale. Do they have a zombie danger? They're going to draw one card, and then they get to pop one card on both players' sides of the fields. Um, ooh, I can use Kel back in my hand to bounce it. I can still probably win this duel, but I, unless I win with the mill, it doesn't matter to me. Hmm... There are people who play Fluffles other than me. I'm a Fluffle player. I'm Fluffle player number one. Edge Imp Cotton. They drew one card. Yeah, goodbye, whale. Wait, what does this card do? Target one monster opponent controls. Have its attack till the end of the turn. Wow. What a garbage effect. Do I have any plays? I have Yuki Ona, the Mayakashi. The Ice Mayakashi, which allows me to bring back Daki. And then I can go into... Wait, wait, wait. What do I have in the graveyard? <gasps> I had combos! I could have finally did it! I had it! Note to self, if you mill Daki, you can use the other guy in order to bring out Yuki Musume. Because once you go into the Link 2, it will allow you to special summon Daki and then bring Yusume, Yuki Musume back. And then you can do the combo from there. Whoa! Hello gamers! Hello there gamers! How's it gaming? Every day I wake up and I think, man, today is a good day to game. Where's the redeem for points? I don't know. Hugin, add it to your hand. Yes. Okay, and then we go into Haujin. Activate Haujin. In order to special summon Yuki Musume, we're just going to seed the graveyard now. We go into Yuki Ona, the Ice Mayakashi. Oh, are Redeems still off? No, I have the Redeems turned off because uh, I don't like them. Okay, and then we bring back this card. And then we can send any zombie monster from the deck to the graveyard. Ooh, I can send Soul Absorbing Bone Tower to the graveyard. Wait, I have a Monster Reborn in hand? <gasps> what does this card do again? This card is special summoned. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects. You can banish this card from your graveyard, suppose a zombie synchro monster that's banished or in your graveyard. I'm trying to wait till next turn for this. Because I didn't go into Mon. Insert Donkey. Okay. And then, pass. Did I use my normal summon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. 
I thought you'd foolish the bone tower because you had a monster reborn. No. <laughs> I forgot monster reborn was in my hand. <sighs> Okay, supernatural danger zone. <gasps> Fall is perfection. This means they can't OTK me in one turn. I'm safe. Yeah, you normal the level of my Akasha that searches. Yeah, it was to get my graveyard set up. Ooh, they're gonna go into Magician Souls. No versus tier limit matchup. No, there's no tier at the low levels. Look, it's jelly. Oh, they're gonna go into a Dark Magician and then destroy a card in the field and then I draw two cards if I use Flawless Perfection. But they're not gonna banish any of my cards. Thanks for the sub, Lexicon. Okay, so that's Dark Magician. Dark Magician is on the board. And then they have Supernatural Danger Zone in order to pop Yuki Ona, the Icicle Mayakashi. Okay. And now their Dark Magician is unaffected by the effects of cards that have effects which affect cards. And then I have Combo. As long as they don't interrupt me at all, I have game. It's dark Secrets? Oh, crap. Fusion Summit? What do they have in hand? Yuki Ona is my boy's best friend. Mine too, bestie. Two Dark Magicians? Oh my god, they opened to crack with these Dark Magicians into the Dark Magicians! Ooh, I can use Dark Ruler no more on that. Because I'm not going to do any damage on my turn. <gasps> I live! I live! I can do this! I would rather have Mizuki in the graveyard, though. Book of Eclipse? Ooh, I can flip it face down. Okay... Main phase one, uh, I'll just use Dark Ruler now so we can't draw any more interruptions. Must you be in the alternate universe using the Tenyi? Eternal Soul? Okay, that's fine. Because if they're going to waste it now, then that means I don't have to worry about Supernatural Danger Zone popping one of my cards during my turn. And I can just you know, vibe. I have Bone Tower in the graveyard, right? Okay. Yeah, I do. So what I want to do is Monster Reborn on Hajun, um, Special Summon Daki from the deck, use Yuki Musume to mill a Mizuki to the grave, and then use Mizuki to bring back Bone Tower, and we win! Okay. Should have summoned Keldo to return the DMs. Psh, it doesn't even matter. I've already won. I've seen two ways into the future already. Wait, what? Oh yeah, they're going to draw two cards. Hopefully none of these are hand traps that stop me. Seeing as they're playing Dark Magicians, I doubt that. You messed up? How did I mess up? I'm a genius. Souls protects the DM. Mm hmm. So. Okay. Um. Yuki Musume in order to get a Mezuki in the graveyard. Mezuki, Mezuki, Mezuki. Okay. Now we use Mezuki. In order to bring back Bone Tower. And now we can start the mill. Guys, it's time to mill. Ooh. Wait, what happens if I normal summon Mezuki? No, that's not going to do anything. Okay, we'll use this one and this one. Yeah, it's mill time. Okay, we mill two and then we activate Docky in the graveyard. To mill another two, and every time we do one step of the combo, we're going to mill, mill, mill. As hopefully they didn't draw into like a. Uh... We just gotta hope they didn't draw into a um... Nibiru like that last guy. Okay, these two. Okay. 
All right, and then use Docky to come back. That would suck if I messed up Docky. Is that a blue eyes? <gasps> Quick effect, Banshee's card, spell some one zombie synchro monster from your graveyard. Oh my god, I have the other card in the graveyard. I can do the combo. Soul absorbing bone tower. Soul absorbing bone tower. Okay, and then we go into the level seven with the Tengu. They have 25 cards left. Yeah, you're right. It's time for the bone zone. Okay, and then we do this one. Okay. Special summon from the graveyard in order to mill two, mill two, mill two. Wow, it's a good thing they don't have graveyard effects. Okay, and then this one plus Tengu. And the five star Mayakashi mills three when it's special summoned. <gasps> oh my god, you're right. I could bring that one out. <laughs> I could bring out the five star one with the graveyard effect to deal the last three. They have true light too. Yeah, they're playing a dark magician blue eyes combo deck. Oh, that's cool. I kind of want to try that. They have 17 cards left. Okay, how many more times can I special summon? The answer to that is yes. Only 11 more to go for the combo. Yeah, I still can go through the entire line again though. Ancient rules. Imagine playing Necomane. Necomane King. 15 cards left. Okay, and now time to go through the combo again. <laughs> they had Nibiru? <laughs> For real? Oh my god, they did have Nibiru. They were just unfortunate not to draw into it. <laughs> he figured it out. <laughs> He's like, uh oh. <laughs> I did it. I got the I got the mill. I didn't use the uh, uh Kelbeck cards though. Related cards. Let's add in one of these Forbidden Droplet. Hmm. I think Forbidden Droplet might be better than Dark Ruler. I like Dark Ruler though. Let's remove two copies of Book of Eclipse. Uh, a one for one. And uh, two copies. Can I just get rid of Maxi completely? No, Maxi is very good. Hmm. I need to get rid of three more cards, but I'm maxed out on everything that's necessary for this combo to work. Called by? No, I like Called by. Hmm, what are three cards I can remove from this? Foolish Burial is so good, so is Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn allowed me to do the last combo. Two DRM, one FD. Two DRM, one FD. Two Dark Ruler No Mores. One Forbidden Droplet. I'd rather play Triple Forbidden Droplet. Just go down to like, no copies of these cards. Yeah, this works. Oh man, the Mayakashi Mill deck. Yeah, Mayakashi Bone Tower Mill. Win and you level up. You only need two Daki since it's searchable. The thing is, if I get any of them in the graveyard, that allows me to go into a full combo. So like, the combos are all based on what I have in hand and in the graveyard. And maximizing on the cards that I have allows me to do the combos gooder. Crap. <laughs> this doesn't allow me to do any combos except for Max C, which might allow me to draw into other combos. Would Grass work with this deck? Probably, but I don't want to play Grass. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> they're just sending a couple of cards and then passing? Oh my goodness gracious, what if they're playing a Floodgate deck? That would suck, because <laughs> I don't play any back or removal. God damn it, I drew into Daki. Oh my god, this hand sucks! Are you kidding me right now? I drew into all of my freaking Mayakashi cards. I only need one of them. And I drew into my searchers too for the Mayakashis. This is some bull crap. Non-fusion area? <laughs> okay. 
You could play evenly matched. Oh, that's true. I could play evenly matched. Select a card to special summon from your deck. Oh, this one. Somebody had a bad day. It looks like someone doesn't like tier limits. Okay, and then special summon Yuki Musume from my hand. In order to load up my graveyard with Medzuki's. But I don't have the combo. Because I don't have a way to also get Bone Tower in the graveyard. So instead, what I'm going to do is just... I don't want to go into normal Mayakashi combos. I have no interest in winning through Mayakashi. You can lethal? I don't care. I don't want to win unless it's through the mill. So instead, what I'm going to do is just prepare for the mill. Control, blah, blah, blah. If this card special summon, target one effect, much one controls, negate its effect, banish this card from graveyard, special summon... What does it do? You can only control while this card is a synchro. While this card points a synchro monster, your opponent's monsters that cannot target the card for attacks. If a synchro monster in your possession is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, while you have this card, you can target one face up monster in the field. Its attack and defense becomes half. Okay, whatever. This guy really hates tier limits. That's true. Wait, I think Doki is negated by Silent Graveyard. Effects that activate in the graveyard this turn are negated. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay, and then we go into this card, the Link 3. As long as I can use graveyard effects next turn, I don't really care. Okay. Alright, and then let's attack. They've used so many resources to get this board set up. Let's see what they're doing, let's see what they're cooking. Oh my god. What? They sent two ties to the graveyard? Quick question. If your opponent mills your deck with the Shizu cards or any mill cards, does that activate Lucky 7? It sure does. Okay. No fusions. That's fine. I don't fusion in this deck anyway. <gasps> Sword Soul Emergence. Add a Sword Soul card to your deck to your hand. They can add Taya, funny enough. So they can go into their combos. Because that's the only one that can activate while it has a properly seated graveyard. I don't have any of my shufflers in the grave. I'm gonna use Maxi. Maybe they'll end their turn here. <laughs> called by. Oh damn, their graveyard hate is through the roof. Okay, with a called by spent, um, that's fine. Just as long as they can't win this turn. And I don't think they can, because they can't really surge into any extenders off of Chizau that can, like, be used. So, like, all they have is this combo. Are they going to use Sword Soul Emergence to increase or decrease the level of one of their cards so they can go into a different card other than Chizau? Hello, Dulogs. Hello, Country Stream. Hello there, Dad Milker. 420. Draco Berserker, that was the other card I thought they were going to go into. Draco Berserker is kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, they sent this card to the grave. What the fuck does this card do in the graveyard? Okie dokie. Oh my god, it gains attack equal to the attack of that card. Yep, that works too. Dark Ruler no more. I should be able to do the combo now. Okay, well, Dark Ruler this card. Man, Dark Ruler was clutch right here. Mayakashi returns. We're just going to add Hugin to your hand. Yes. Okay, and I already have a Mezuki in the grave, so I need to send a Bone Tower to the grave with uh, Yuki Musume. Activate Hugin in order to special... Wait, I don't have any in the graveyard that I can use, right? Oh, they have a card whose effect is turned off right now, so it's just going to fizzle out uselessly. Okay, and then we get Daki from the deck. Okay, then we activate Yuki Musume. Special summon itself out. 38 cards, send Bone Tower to the graveyard. Then activate Mezuki in order to bring back Bone Tower. Okay. Alrighty then, and now we have full combos. Hopefully they don't have any shufflers in the grave. Have I used my normal summon this turn? I don't think I have. 
<gasps> I have two of them in the grave. Ooh, even if they do have a shuffler, I can still do my combos. Okay. One. I'm pretty sure this deck is not playing the shufflers. Okay. Oh, I guess it doesn't work that way. Vishuda also stops mid combo. Vishuda is spell speed one, so it does not stop at mid combo. Okay. If it were quick play, it is what we call sorcery speed or spell speed one. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting milled. I don't think their deck can stop this. They've already lost. Their best bet for trying to stop this was me not having Dark Ruler no more to stop their Draco Berserker. Okay. Another non-fusion area. Yeah, they really hate tier limits, which you don't see this low level in the Duelist Cup. Okay, we're almost done with the fusions. We're almost done with the fusions. They're playing a slightly bigger than normal deck, so this might take a little bit longer than normal. Yoko the Graceful Mayakashi, and then activate Daki to come back. I don't think it's pronounced Huggin, boss. It's pronounced Hugin. Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. Oh my god, Bone Tower, come on. What do they have in the graveyard? Literally nothing. Okay, now we can go into Gashadokoro. Goatee, what about Goatee? Activate Bone Tower. Activate Daki. Okay. The Silent Graveyard, Silent Graveyard. <laughs> Okay, Bone Tower, Bone Tower, send some more cards to the graveyard, send some more cards to the graveyard. I'm gonna give him a little bit of hope. I'm gonna use this to make it think like I'm almost done with my combos. Okay, and then we bring out Suchinoko. And then this card activates, and then this card activates to mill another three cards. <gasps> this card's banished after the damage set, big banish this card from your graveyard, special summon it. Oh, oh, they have a card. I have no idea what the card does. <gasps> oh, they went into Incredible Ecclesi- <gasps> It milled me too? Yay, now I have a Shuffler in the grave. Awesome. Okay, now let's go into Obimaru. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm going to show them that I can go through my combo line again. You finally hit a graveyard effect. And they're going to use the effect in order to attribute itself in order to special summon a Sword Soul or Fallen of Albaz from their deck. Incredible Ecclesia. Good morning. Hello there, Cafe Fico. <gasps> the Iris Sword Soul? Really? Not Fallen of Albaz? Soul Absorbing Bone Tower at Mill 2. Are they playing a... A, uh... A lore deck? This one... And Tsuchigumu. No card to discard for Fallen of Albaz? Oh yeah, no card to discard for Fallen of Albaz. Ducky. Can we use the other one too? Don't fall in the this. Oh yeah, because they have fusion. I forgot they have the floodgate. Non-fusion material. Destroy one card special summoned from the extra deck. Go for it. What are they gonna Oh, they are they are doing some work right now. Ducky and it fizzles. And then we mill some more cards. <gasps> If a synchro monster in your possession is destroyed, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. Oh my god. 
Remember, you can't control two of them. But select your card in your graveyard to banish. Okay, we can banish a huge one. I wish I could use the mill effect again this turn. <laughs> they didn't even stop the combo. One more and we win. Okay, let's go into Yuki Ona of the Ice Mayakashi. Ice Mayakashi Mill, and then activate Daki to come back, and then go into the Link 3 and then the Link 4. I can't believe this Bomb Mayakashi versus Sword Soul gameplay. This Sword Soul gameplay with all of their traps. They don't have any shufflers in the grave, right? Okay, that's game over. End turn. <gasps> don't quit! You were just about to lose! Don't quit! Now I don't get a deck out victory! <laughs> you can't just quit! That's cheating! You're supposed to sit there and just take it. Who gave you permission to quit? Where did you get your permission slip to quit out on this? Oh my goodness gracious. I hope he had a signed permission slip for that shit. <laughs> we need to give him a game loss? Uh. Will you reach level 20? I could reach level 20, huh? Um, no, I just wanted to get off the combo once and then get off because... I, um, I think I need a break. My forehead has been like twitching, which usually means I've been working too much. Which is ironic because I haven't been working a lot. I actually like, took yesterday off. It's just I spent all day building decks, which my body considers work because it's stressful, I guess. I don't know. It's stupid. If I go first, I pull Maxi, Ash, and a million negates, hard stuck plant, help. <gasps> you should play tier limits. Look at all these decks I built yesterday, which I can't use. Ooh, Floodgate OTK. Oh, that one's fun. Maximum snow value. Can I be sure of a battle? 30 Hand Trap, War Rock, Conclave Control. I need to play Conclave Control and War Rocks and Melfi Goaty. Ishizu Tech, Grass, Grass, Grass. Cards make videos about Fluffle Ishizu. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Um. Well, I gotta go. Uh, Who's streaming right now? I have a question, Logs. Can you make me a good Dogmatica deck? No. A good Dogmatica deck? That's an oxymoron. Mel Goaty? What even is Blue Eyes Labyrinth? I love Blue Eyes Labyrinth. It's so good. Labyrinth. Okay, it's let's so see good. here. We have Mini is on. So is Maple and Luke Von Karma. And Nami Mogu and Slilvi. Secret Wednesday stream sub replay. And Nim Nim is on. Games plus demos. Raid Von Karma. We've never raided Von Karma before. Make our lives mini fault. We've raided many a million times. Raid me, hipster Hi Hyperion. Oh my god, good idea. 